Let's party! Oh my god, is what's happening? I think what's happening? It is. Oh my god, really? I think it'd be quicker. I think you'd be able to take off quicker if you didn't, like, stand in the doorway. And there goes the Lincoln Memorial. Uh, well. Hello, YouTube. It's me, Fortnafter. And welcome to Metal Wolf Chaos XD. So, I don't think I'm going to show the little intro cinematic that they showed because it actually it went on for a long time. But, from what I've got... Oh, it's playing again. <laughs> ah, great. Well, basically, from what I've gotten from this, it bas it looks... This was made in 2019, but the graphics and voice acting sound like they're from 2012. Actually, earlier. They sound like a 2012, actually an earlier arcade game. Um, and apparently you play as the president. Now, if only I could get... Pa okay. Now, let's um, actually get into well, this and s Yeah, apparently you play as the president, and um, let's see what a what you actually happens in this. First quarter of the 21st century. Freedom By the end of the first oh. quarter of the 21st century, freedom was dead in America. Beginning with a large-scale military coup d'etat that erupted in various cities throughout the nation, the rebels seized power in all the central institutions of Wait, government. Wait, so that means it's 2025. The nation appeared to have fallen completely into the hands of the coup d'etat forces. However, one final hope in opposing the coup d'etat forces remained. This final hope being the U.S. president himself. I was right. Michael Wilson, the 47th president of the United States, equipped with a special mobile armored ops suit developed in secret by the military, boldly waged his own personal war alone to take back America's freedom. Okay. Oh man, I... Th Get out my special op suit, Jody. It looks like a fancy party is about to start. This kind of party is a first for me. Mr. Oh. President? Oh, okay, so we're just going right out of the main... The, okay. Okay, let's party! Welcome to the White House. The people outside look really scary, Mr. President. Mr. President, escape via the Eagle Star in the underground base. Now I'll open the entryway to the underground base. Please give your guests some face time with the Commander-in-Chief. So am I just shooting at them with a... Wait, so I thought this thing was going to be bigger. No. So I'm, a, I, I'm in this, like, super advanced mech suit, and my only weapons are, like, a pistol and a, like, literal civilian-grade pistols and shotguns? Okay. Wait, so where am I supposed to go? Keep you waiting, Mr. President. Wait, is that him? Did he did he build his own statue? Enter the underground base using this oversized back door here. <laughs> well. What is going on? I'll be back. Mr. President, the Eagle Star is beyond here. Get going before the enemy chases after you. Proceed ahead while destroying anything that stands in your way. Switching over your weapons, depending on the situation, is the main key to fighting. Try out the weapons in your backpack as you like. How do I...
Okay, wait, what are the controls here? So let... Mr. President, there's an aircraft hangar beyond this passageway. Now let's hurry. The aircraft hangar is behind the barrier. I'll open oh, it's going to be a box now. or something. Please wait a moment. Yeah, here we go. Whoa, something quite dangerous awaits. But with missiles of that caliber, if you aim and fire, you should be able to easily shoot them down. Flack! Gotta shoot Flack! Oh, is there people on the other side too? Oh, there- Oh, there are! Mr. President, the barrier has been opened. Okay. Air Force One's launch preparations will be complete. Wait, so Air Force, well, where is this? Here. More guests. Well, I guess they won't be voting for you next term. Mr. President, the enemy is taking aim at Air Force One. Please be careful. <laughs> Come on, not! No, you're not. You're not defeating Air Force One on my watch. Come on, come on. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mr. President. Oh, it's gonna have the door. To okay. Oh. Ticketless chicken. I mean, it could be faster. Just another day at the Oval Office, huh, Mr. President? Welcome to Air Force One. I swear. <laughs> the achievement. Let's party! Oh my god, is what's happening? I think what's happening? It is. Oh my god, really? I think it'd be quicker. I think you'd be able to take off quicker if you didn't, like, stand in the doorway. And there goes the Lincoln Memorial. Or Lincoln. Like they were ever invited, they're definitely Michael. What? <laughs> I'm guessing they're the villain. Richard! Who's Richard? Mr. President, it looks like this party is just getting started. Rescued? I could rescue people? Knockout points. Rush combo? Obtained a new weapon, okay. Let's fight from the White House. Uh, cemented Vice President Richard's hold. He's the vice. So the Vice President started a coup uh, with the Pentagon, Congress, and the very core against uh, 
other core institution of America firmly in his grasp. Hawk was three to thrust his depravity onto the country in the name of revolution. The land of the free was no more. But let me tell you the story of a man who stood against the tide, who believed in his own justice even when it seemed the whole country had turned against him. Jody, update me as to the status of the nation. The Pentagon, the United Nations, and all central government institutions have fallen into the hands of the Vice President. Have they? Mr. President, believe in your own justice. What does that even mean? I'm sure your father would have told you the same. Jody, how's my schedule look for today? You've got a conference and dinner party at the Japanese Embassy regarding wildlife protection. Oh yeah. Sorry, but I'll have to cancel that. I'm heading out to save America. Can you let them know I won't be able to make it? Well, hmm, I don't know. Yes, Mr. President. To my beloved fellow Americans, good evening. This is an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your American justice and freedom supporter. First of all, what I would like to tell each and every one of you is this. Recent events were not a mere coup d'etat, but rather a revolution to correct the wrongs in the United States of America. To our regret, our nation is in a crisis situation. Since 2010, domestic terrorism problems have increased rapidly. Economic disputes originating from the exhaustion of fossil fuels and the sudden rise in unemployment due to the influx of large-scale immigration. Neither the current president nor the American government took actions to address these various problems. Mm -hmm. On the mm -hmm. contrary, they have filled their own pockets adhering to terrorist cells. To what? correct this situation, Richard Hawk, Arizona insurrection hero and vice president of the old government and the U.S. military rose to the task at hand. Much like our ancestors did, based in a belief of winning freedom, and based in the belief of an independent war, and based in the belief in this great nation. However, to our regret, an evil to disobey this belief exists in the United States of America, too. Why don't and I have those miniguns? Is that evil? This villainous terrorist who first appeared in Washington and began his unjust rampage goes by the alias Metal Wolf. Does he now? His current whereabouts are unknown. While all of America will be under martial law until Metal Wolf is caught, please do not confuse the issues at hand. Without fail, the U.S. military elite forces with a combined strength of 1.5 million promise to smash this unforgivable evil to pieces. This has been an announcement from the Government Policy Promotion Department, your special remedy for all kinds of evil. Gee, I don't know whether this is, like, laughable or a little cutting a little close to home. <laughs> I'll have to try to look back at that later. Hostages rescued? I didn't know there were hostages to rescue. The coup d'etat army that occupies San Francisco still runs rampant and deprives 780,000 citizens of their freedom. Target areas that the enemy force uses as the base of their military activities are built around the town. Target areas where enemy forces are concentrated are now. dangerous but you can weaken their morale by destroying enemy armies. Destroy all target areas, annihilate the enemy force, and make the liberation of San Francisco shine as a beacon of hope in your counteroffensive. This mission goes by the call name... 
Metropolitan Recapture Operation from Cisco Sighted Road. Wow, this rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Good luck and Godspeed, Mr. President. Uh, develop? What do we got here? Manufacture, invest, handguns. I don't think I'd be using handguns. Manufacture. Mr. President, how's the skydiving? Not too bad. San Francisco, occupied by coup d'etat forces, will be the starting point of our counteroffensive. Don't enter. And mm -hmm. here's the starting grid. Okay. That's quite a gentlemanly landing, sir, befitting only of a U.S. president. The gentleman in me goes off the clock at 5 p.m. And now I'm gonna... Take America back! Annihilate the enemy army by destroying the target areas where the troops have amassed. Destroy all the target areas scattered throughout and take back the town. No, this is awesome. Oh, hi! Well, I mean, if all these soldiers decided that they'd want to go with the coup d'etat, uh, who might have deprived them of their will? I like the grenade launcher a lot better. Let's see if we can actually find some of these, like, hostages. Okay, got some bonus funds, nice. So the, um, basically the lesson I'm learning here is destroy everything. Mr. President, POWs are being transported in that cage. Destroy the cage with light firearms and rescue the people inside. Mm hmm Yeah, no rocket launchers. Ah, I shall free you with violence. Some scientists were among the POWs you rescued. They were used to develop new weapons for the military. Go! 
Now the POW can be safely liberated. Okay. The enemy forces have even captured San Francisco's cable cars. We can't let them get away with using the symbol of this great American city. Nope, yeah, gotta destroy him. Can't be saved. Oh, hi, is there someone behind me? Oh, hi! Jeez. What even is this game? Okay, this looks like number one. The yellow icons on your radar are designated targets in mm -hmm. each area. Destroy each target and blow the area to oblivion. Reinforcements come from the adjacent areas. When there are too many reinforcements, Try attacking from another area. You could call it winning by retreating. Come on. If they can't hit me. Come on. Come on. Mr. President, the target area has been destroyed. This has been a momentous first job. Wonderful. What is that? The glowing bar in the... Okay, I gotta look that up. What is that? First attack, stomp, stomp. Just let so. First attack and stomp. So F and left control. So that's what that does. So I guess probably save that for a boss. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Killed by your own president. You should be a same you should be ashamed, soldier. The time limit self-destruct device has been activated. Hurry and destroy it. A musician was among the POWs you rescued. He was forced to play the Chinese air who. The POWs have been safely freed. Nice. Oh, damn it. That's okay, that is so much easier. Good. There we go. Let's try, let's try with the rocket launcher. Target area destroyed.
<laughs> One thing I... Why does it take so long for uh, menus to load? communications facility. From this facility, when communications are made, large numbers of reinforcements join the battle. It's really a nuisance, so destroy it first. That's how you do it. God, this game is so good. Yeah, you know, I'm just thinking. They say like, oh, this president, uh, no, not president, the terrorist, just appeared as they show footage of him bursting out of the White House. No, a tank against my super advanced well, suit of battle armor. At the United States military. M1 Abrams tank. I never thought they would join the fight. Well, I'm pretty sure it's like A2 at this point. High-powered weapons like bazookas are effective against the tough tank armor. Please don't hold back on using the weapons in your backpack. Yeah, destroy it. This game is so stupid. I love it. Oh, hi. a lot of targets. The suspicious 
be tall targets are enemy headquarter installations. The morale of the troops is rising due to the HQ installations. Destroy the HQ facilities first and eradicate their will to fight. The enemy forces have usurped the building, making it a target. The building was opened two years ago on April 25th. It's named the Haokan Denkai China Building. Each season is decorated with gorgeous lights. Their Christmas tree tops them all. Over 800,000 people came to see it last December. For such a long time, I've been wondering how lovely that gorgeous building would look if it were destroyed. I feel Do you have a... the owner, but hey, let's smash the hell out of it. Um, Judy, are you okay? So much. That's what I expect from a U.S. president. Nice thinking on your feet. Uh oh, Mr. President. Could this be a thank you for destroying the area? Oh. It looks like you're gonna receive a lovely present. Jeez, oh, look at that thing. That fat boy needs a presidential diet. I guess he's had too much junk food. Yeah, that kid some too. Make junk food out of him, Mr. President. No, I'm just shooting him from around the corner, sure. This works. Something tells me this wasn't how this was how this boss was supposed to be done. forces in San Francisco have been annihilated. Nice work, Mr. President. Sure. <laughs> sure. All in a day's work, huh, Mr. President? Nope. We've only just begun. 
the fight will continue. As long as the America inside my heart is still alive. The America inside my heart. Ha! Yeah, I think I accidentally killed one pe uh, some people with heavy ordnance. Enough money, energy pods to upgrade your mobile armor suit. Okay. Saving any civilians increased your economy rating in San Francisco to 46. Saving a scientist increased your technology rating in San Francisco to 12. Sharper Buke of cannon fire echoed across San Francisco as President Wilson commenced his counter-offensive against the Vice President's regime. <laughs> the liberation of the city struck a chord in the hearts of small band of patriots whose um, alabaster souls still believed in the freedom that Richard Hawk had stripped away. The movement had been born and it wanted Hawk to get the hell out of Dodge. The wings of justice were spreading like an eagle and getting ready to soar.